when we relax and allow it to be as it is, then we discover a different quality to everything. We discover that there isn't this world out there that we have to be afraid of, or equally this world in here that we have to be afraid of. We keep it really simple and we can see that all descriptions, whether we label them as internal or external, shine forth from the same source, from the same essence. It's open intelligence, this power to know, that lights up from within all descriptions. All data, all experience is known by exactly the, exactly the same knowing. And when you relax for a short moment, that's what you discover for yourself. So this is great, you can test this out and see whether this is true. This is not a philosophy or a theory. What we're talking about here is a, a very radical new way in which we can approach life, with which we can actually see clearly all of the assumptions that we've made about what things mean and about how we have to behave in the world. And death is a, is a wonderful example, because we have all of these ideas about what death means. And we have all of these ideas about compassion. All of these ideas about how we should be compassionate. And then when we're not, we start to, to, to blame ourselves. And there's that feeling of embarrassment and shame. I should be a compassionate person. And so instead of trying to make sense of how we should be in the world, thinking about all of these different ideas and concepts, particularly around something like death and Know, why we should be compassionate and why we should try and preserve life. And when we think about it, all there is is these different ideas, different concepts, and it's very hard to see clearly about you know, how to actually behave, you know, what would actually be of benefit here. And so instead we take this approach of just allowing all of this data, all of these thoughts to be as they are, all of the thoughts about compassion, all of the thoughts about death, all of the thoughts about how we should be in the world, what we should be doing, how we should be relating to people, and we allow them all just to flow on by. And we see that none of them leave a trace or a mark in this sky-like openness. This intelligence that is the basis and essence for all of these descriptions. Like the flight path of a bird in the sky, none of them leave a trace. So this pristine knowing, this pristine intelligence, is that by which we know anything. And until we acknowledge that as the source of all of these descriptions, there's no way to make sense of any of them. We're missing this, um, this context or perspective for all of the descriptions. So with something like compassion, it's very difficult to, to, to live this. And then to try and work out, well, why should we be compassionate? You know, if everything's one, if everything's shining forth, then, well, you know, I can behave however I like then. You know, why, why should I be compassionate? Why should I try and preserve life? And from that perspective of thinking about things, well, we can't really come up with an answer. And yet, when we allow everything to be as it is, once we allow all of these thoughts and descriptions just to rest naturally in this, this vast, open, basic space, then, in our own direct experience, in each moment, we feel deeply and discover this compassion and interconnectedness that before was only a concept. We discover it to be our everyday lived experience in each moment. This deep, heartfelt desire to live a life that's of benefit to ourselves and to everybody, in a completely uncontrived way. Thinking about it will only give you a contrived sense of compassion that's actually very difficult to follow through on. And I saw that in my own experience. No matter how hard I tried to be loving or kind or good, it was actually really difficult. And I tried my best and I have huge compassion for that, that desire within me. And yet I, I can also see how frustrating it was to have these expectations and these goals of being compassionate and good and yet so often failing to actually follow through on it and then beating myself up and then feeling embarrassed and ashamed and then indulging in all of this and being so caught up in this that again I wasn't open and available to see what would be of benefit in that moment. It's the same mechanism, keeping it really simple, bringing it back to what's fundamental and primary in our own everyday experience on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. 
So I feel so grateful and so fortunate to have discovered that this simple approach can be applied in all situations. It gives me this this key to understanding anything about myself and anything about anything that's going on. And without this, there's this sense of confusion. There's this sense of not seeing clearly. We're lost in all of these concepts and conventional assumptions that we've adopted, that we've learned from our family and our friends and our media and our environment. This is where we have all of these ideas. We're not born with any ideas about anything. We're not born with any ideas about death. We're not born with any ideas about compassion or any ideas about our own identity. All of these things we learn along the way. And so instead what we do here is just relax and discover that which has been constant throughout all of this learning, throughout all of this experience of life. There's something that's constant and reliable, something that never changes. And that's what we're tapping into here. Again, short moment by short moment. We don't even need to apply this conventional approach to gaining confidence in open intelligence. We can relax with all of these ideas as well. Relax with all of the comparison. Relax with all of the self-judgment. The feeling stupid because you, you, know, you were caught up in your data stream for a minute or a day or a month or a year. Relaxing with all of these descriptions and allowing them all just to flow on by. And there we discover this stability. There we discover this ability to make clear decisions about when we preserve life and when we don't. Not having any fixed framework that we feel bound by, but instead having this spontaneous open-hearted relating that sees everything clearly and knows exactly what will be of benefit. There's no way that you can bring this about by thinking about it but by being surrounded by an environment that allows you and supports you to see that you can make this choice, then the ability to make this choice comes about in a very gentle, effortless way.